Hello, today we're going to make an iron fence. An iron fence that fits in very well with our 3D topic. I'm Dr. Kirk at 3dtopic.com and here we go. We'll make a box first. Pull it up. And we'll shape it right in here. So about 0.05 for the length, 0.05 for the width. So it's not going to be very long or wide. But it does have to be high. We'll do about a 2 meter fence. Somewhere over 6 feet. There we go. So, I'm going to zoom in on the left-right view, or front-back view, whichever you like, hit Z. And I'm going to start to play with this, so I need to add a modifier. We'll do an Edit Poly for this. So, Edit Poly. Now, I'll open it up, and I'll go to the edges. I want to play with the edges on this. Now, the reason I do is I'm going to do a certain operation, a chamfer operation here. I'll open up the box, the dialog box, and play with the amounts. That's way too much. So I'll break it down about like so. So it's a more ornate iron fence than normal. I'll hit the OK. And if I zoom in here, you can see the difference. It's got this nice little opening here. It looks very, very good that way. So we'll stick with this iron fence like so. Now, let's detail it a little bit at the top, because right now it's just boring. So we'll go into the polygon, select that. We'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll start doing some bevels on this. So go down to the Bevel tool, grab it, and start playing. Bring up a little, and out a little. It's a little too crazy. Just a bit, and bevel again. Click again, bevel again. Up a bit is fun. And maybe out, up a bit, in a bit, and we'll do it again very much in like so do it again way up high and we'll bring this to a spike kind of now I don't want to cross my polys so that's okay I don't want to do that I'll use another tool for that I'll actually go in here to the stretch go into the center and stretch them all to <laughs> stretch them all together as close as I possibly can alright when it's done you might even want to try again stretch it as close as you possibly can because we're going to weld these. So select the vertex, make sure you're not ignoring the back face. We want all the points there. Scroll down. And yes, we have eight vertices selected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's about right. Let's do a weld. And it brings us down to one vertex. Vertex 49 selected. Perfect. So we've made a spike out of this thing. And it looks pretty darn good. Let's see what we've got without the wires. And there's our post. So I need to take a look at this. And it looks pretty darn good. So we'll go with this. Now, trouble is one post doesn't do anything. doesn't keep anyone out. Let's fix that. We have to do something called Array. So in Tools, we'll go to Array. Make sure it's selected, and it is. And along the x-axis, I believe it's this way, we'll spread it out. We'll try one meter to start. And go however many you want. If I'm on 10, I'll just put 9 in here. Hit the OK. And there you have it. Now that's spread a little too far. People can get in, so I'll change this. I'll do a Shift Z and do that. And we'll do a tool array again. I'll just do half the size, maybe a 0.4, actually a little less. See what happens here. Perfect. OK. That's a section of fence. You can go as far as you want to. This is just a demo. All right. So I have all of these selected. I'll go in from a side view this time front view looks great. So I'll go in from there. And what I want to do this time, first let's do a wireframe view, is I'm going to add another object. So I'll create a box. And I'll zoom in here a bit. In this box somewhere around here. I'm just going to create like so. Alright. Length, I don't know, I'll pull it out a bit and stop. And let's see what happened. Okay, we're not just a little bit there. So let's keep playing with a length here. I believe it's a setting. Ah, it's not the setting. Undo that particular thing. Must be the width. No, the height on this? It is the height, and I'll bring it through all the way to the other post at the very, very end. So I've got this, and I've just finished this up. So now I can clone this if I want to. 
and I can select the actual object and if I hold down on my shift key and move it I can drag it and make an instant clone and I'll just do a copy of it that's fine and I'll take it again to the bottom copy is great and once more to the very bottom there we go so what I've made is a nice little fence let's take a look at it it's got different colors you can make it the same color if you want to and here we go it's got a very nice top and it looks pretty good a quick render shows a very nice fence once again make it all the color of dull iron and you've got something really really nice to show happy Halloween